while she was cleaning up and started touching her. Police say the victim then chased Wilson around the room, pushed her down on a table, and covered her mouth when she started to yell for help. Police say she was eventually able to run away to get help. The police report says Wilson admitted to touching the woman. Jail records show he's been held on sexual assault and false imprisonment charges. Happening now, the Steel Horse Motorcycle Rally is going on right now in downtown Fort Smith. Hundreds of bikers will be in town this weekend. They could have thousands. Hotels and other businesses tell us they're staying very busy. 4029 wanted to know if the vendor money you spend at the rally stays in the local economy. It's new at 10. The engines are revving up. And the bikers are here for the Steel Horse Rally. But does the money you spend at the rally stay local? People talk about other events. All the vendors are from out of town. Most of these are from this area. We really want to keep the money right here in our backyard. And that really was the whole design of this from the very beginning. The Hellfighters are a Christian motorcycle ministry based out of Greenwood. Shirts, patches, pins, the bobbles and uh, tracks are all free, though. And if you buy those things from these higher power Harley riders, it helps them give back to our area. Last year we spent $10,000 on foster kids for Christmas. So all the money that we make, it helps make back and uh, put back in the account for what we spend at the rally, plus give back to the community. And that's really what we want to see is that money stay in our community so we can have a better community for the future. It's not just the vendors who are banking on your bucks. Fort Smith is hoping for a boost when bikers eat and stay at restaurants and hotels. Conservatively, that tax dollar rotates three to five times inside of our economy. Brett Rains, 4029 News.